So here, here it is, it's recording. So welcome to Seabor Working Group interim meeting nine, number 16. Uh, this is an ITF meeting. The ITF note well applies and this meeting is recorded and the presence is logged in the um, Kodi MD link that I posted in the WebEx chat and it is also in the agenda. Uh, okay, so for today we have uh, ITF 109 update. So this is just from me real quick. Uh, what's the status there? And then I run through the working group document uh, status. Uh, Karsten, if you have some updates there and then any other business at the end of the meeting. So for the ITF 109, I requested a session as uh, we decided last interim and it's going to be a 60 minutes session and I made sure to include those um, uh, those working groups or uh, that we talked about last time that were to add but if there is anything else please go ahead and and check that if you want me to add anything else because I can still modify it until this Friday the um, yeah the, the the session request so yeah but otherwise that's that's done um uh, working group document status uh if you want to do you want to start with the oid tags document Karsten? yes so uh, two interims ago we had a, a discussion about the the tag uh, factoring or the the recursive application of tags to of oid tags to arrays and maps and i wrote this up and I'm quite happy with what I wrote up. Um, so unless there, there's a pushback now, I would like to uh, publish this as Dash01 uh, for, for the working group draft. Okay, and it's uh, in the GitHub right now? It's in the GitHub. So I guess if anybody has any comments, has had time to see it. Otherwise, go ahead. We'll get the feedback from the working group. Okay, uh, then we had the new proposal dictionaries. It was the second topic. Yes, so um, I, I didn't update the, the pack draft for, for quite a while now because uh, we, we hadn't quite come up with, with an obvious direction to go here. My, my objective here is to uh, keep nicely separated the, the, the actual packing mechanics, uh, which would uh, be extended by a suffix packing. We currently only have uh, shared items and prefix packing. So that, that's one part of the proposal. And keep, keep that separate from the question, how do the tables that go into that uh, actually get constructed. And I think that's where the dictionaries come in because in the end, the dictionaries have to form part um, of uh, the table that is then actually used uh, for dereferencing the, the various uh, um, reference to shared items and, and prefix and uh, suffix uh, packing. So th th that is still my, my objective, uh, but uh, I haven't managed to come up with a clean way of doing this. Uh, Brendan's idea of uh, uh, essentially um, using the, the end of what's in the uh, PEC document as the point where the dictionaries are then added um, looks pretty good. It does have the disadvantage that 
uh, we don't get absolutely optimal uh, uh, compression of, of the uh, reference. So that's something where we maybe want to generate a few examples and um, actually do numbers uh, before we make a decision. So that's the, the status there. I think we just need a few proposals that go a little bit beyond uh, just the ideas and are fleshed out enough that we can derive uh, these numbers. And of course, we, we also need a few examples, uh, example data items that, that we actually put into this uh, packing to find out how, how well that works out. Sounds good. Thank you for the update. Um, yeah, I think we can move on to the next next uh, topic, which is 7049 bis. Yeah, the status is that we had a couple of uh, um, editorial improvements. Uh, we, we generated dash 15. Uh, based on, on the uh, comments and discusses. And um, then we got a little bit more feedback. And there is one final pull request, number 223, I think, um, which uh, uh, I would like uh, Paul to actually cross-check. Uh, then uh, when he merges that, we can submit dash 16. And that should be a basis for Barry to decide whether he can press the button now. Sounds good. Great. Um, nothing that we need to discuss then in this uh, request. No, unless uh, anything comes up, I mean, there's always something that may come up at any point in time. And better now than as errata. <laughs> yeah, of course. So maybe let's give a moment uh, to open this pull request. And let me just copy paste the link in a minute. Since we have the time. It's somewhere in the large number of tabs I have open. Got it here. Two hundred twenty three. Yes. So Barry had a, a pretty nice restructuring of the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I would assume that the RFC editor would have uh, beat us up on that paragraph anyway. Uh, but uh, I think it's better to have something now than to wait for the RFC editor to do it. And as far as I can see, that's the yeah. remaining pull request. Awesome. This is great. Thank you, Karsten. I read it through and looks good. But I'm not a native speaker, so. OK. Um, any other business? So the best part of the rewrite is that it removes most of the parenthetical part. The two parentheticals in a row. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that people don't like uh, parentheses. It, uh, it, it's, um, it's really, I think it's really hard. It, it represents a diversion in your thought. Um, and I think it's really hard for non-native speakers to, to follow. Um, that's my feeling, but I don't know. I'd always, I'd always imagine, I imagine someone speaking it on stage and they would, you know, kind of whisper it as an aside. 
Well, yeah, I, I, not... I like it as a non-native speaker because I know that in theory you can just skip them and you're supposed yeah. to understand the sentence, but if you want more context or, or details, then you go and read them. <laughs> so essentially the correct way to read a paragraph with parentheses is to read it twice, read it without the parentheses first, and then read it again with a parenthesis. So, so I totally agree with you, and and that's right. And you, the other reason, if we could do footnotes in in RF in RFCs, then many of them would become footnotes because that actually really makes that mm. more clear. Um, but, um, but I, I, anyway, I don't think it's a good way. And I think that the parentheticals are not, are, are, they're not. Yeah, I mean, anyway, I, it's a good rewrite. Great. Thank you for reading it through. Um, just note that. Okay. Um, any other business, any other topic that we want to discuss? What's Quick question. The... What's the deadline to get uh, input in on uh, the best document. The deadline. <laughs> I mean, I know it's it's yeah. I mean, but if you if if additional uh, input is submitted, what, how fast as does it need to be? Possible. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I don't don't really have a, a an answer to that, but uh, Kasten, okay. what do you think uh, when Paul will? have time to merge this uh i would expect once he's he's woken up mm. uh, so i would expect this to happen within the next few hours okay yeah. so if i mean and yeah. if there is a bug uh, we have to fix that bug so uh th there is no deadline for bugs <laughs> understood of course Uh, okay, anything else? So what's our plan for the next interim? Yes. The next interim is in two weeks, October 14th. Um, will we have any updates on the uh, PACT or proposal dictionaries or OID tags document? So for, for the packed thing, which for me includes the dictionary discussion, um, okay. I think we should have a few proposals by then. So we can discuss which direction we take. Um, so that, that would be something that uh, I would actually uh, prefer to have a, a time for, like uh, on, on Friday, October the 9th, we want to see proposals which we then discuss on the mailing list and then in the meeting on the 14th. Mm -hmm. um, so th th this is something where, where we really have to do work. It, it's not done yet. On the OID side, I think we are pretty much done. We, we could decide that, we, that what we said uh, four weeks ago uh, was not the right uh, direction, so we would change again. But if, if it is the right direction, uh, then I think we are nearing completion on the OID document. Okay, so it needs reviews now at this point. Yes. Uh, what I'm so I think there were some emails about the direction change that I answered about CBOR signed versus. Um, I don't want to call it DER signed, but recovery. Is that the thread you're talking about? No. No. Uh, the, the, the odd thing is simply the question whether we allow any tag factoring and if yes, to oh. what extent. And uh, we, we right. 
had a good discussion four weeks ago, and uh, I think we have um, now hit the right level of complexity. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so submit the next version, and then uh, hopefully we get, can get some feedback, get some reviews. Okay. Um, what else? The CDDL uh, control document. Yeah, I still hope that I have an implementation at some point uh, so we can all play with it and, and uh, get a better impression of uh, whether that's what we actually want. Okay, so we, we're not going to add it to the agenda for next interim. Well, at least uh, let's wait f uh, until I have an implementation. Yes. Okay, uh, if it's only this, and hopefully we we'll ha we will have a celebration for seventy forty nine bis next meeting. Um, or do you think there's anything else that we would like to add? So for now, it would be then the pack document uh, with p possible proposals multiple proposal we don't know uh, and the uh, OIDS document we see if we can get reviews before then so we can talk about the reviews during the meeting right anything else I don't think so okay. it's down Okay. Um, the la last last chance to add anything. Thank you. And if there is any nothing else, then thank you for calling in today. Very short meeting, and talk to you in two weeks. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye bye. Yeah.